I request you to give me only five to six minutes of your precious time. The boy came rushing out with full of tears. When he saw him, he ran to him and asked him what happened. He kindly said, Sir, my father's shop was destroyed in the fire. We had to sell our house to pay for the losses. The entire time they talked over the phone, he was crying. The first two years, I barely cared about my neat results. Some two years passed. He gets a call from a number and he takes it. He said to me that he will never forget that phone call ever in the life. And then he said something that hit my colleague deep and hard. And trust me, guys, when I heard it, it did the same to me. In the end, he was about to leave. My colleague told me, that he asked him this one question. His story isn't just about studying hard or being smart in the exams or not losing hope. It's a story about... Hello, my dear NEET aspirants. I hope all of you are doing great. Today, I have come before you not with a lecture or a strategy, but the story of a NEET aspirant that I feel needs to be told and heard. I request you to give me only five to six minutes of your precious time. I know there is a very less time left till your NEET examination, but trust me, if you are preparing for NEET or any competitive exam, this video is for you. Promise me you won't leave this video midway because by the end of this video, you will leave with something invaluable, something that books cannot teach. How often have you heard students taking their teacher's name and saying he or she was my inspiration and it's because of him or her I was able to crack NEET? It's very common, isn't it? But today, I am here to tell you about a boy and neat aspirant, a student of a colleague of mine who became inspiration to many. Recently, a colleague of mine told me this particular story. This happened to a student of his. When my colleague told me this story, I was moved by the will and the dedication of this boy. I won't be taking his name because I'm not sure if he would want to reveal his identity. He lived in a small town with a with his parents. He was an only child. He was basically from a middle class family. His father used to run a small shop. They believed in his dreams and encouraged him to keep going every single time. Since he was from a small town, he had to move out for his neat preparation. Even though his family didn't have a lot of money, they supported him at best as they could. As my colleague said, he was a brilliant student. He was always the first one to answer the questions in the class. He told he was very close to him. He knew his struggles personally. This guy had a keypad phone, okay? Most of the students won't even recognize that today, okay? Everyone was sure that he would crack neat in the very first attempt. That too with the flying colors. He never used to miss any class. Always punctual. Always the first one to answer the questions. Always to uh, the first one to register for tests. Days passed, weeks passed, months passed, everything was going great. But one day my colleague was about to take the class. He was waiting outside. The boy came rushing out with full of tears. When he saw him, he ran to him and asked him what happened. He kindly said, Sir, my father's shop was destroyed in the fire. He was blank. He didn't know how to console him. If I were in his place, I would be too. He asked him, how did this happen? He said, I don't know, sir. My father just called me and asked me to come home as soon as possible. Our shop is destroyed. At this point, there were some two or three months left till the need. He left and my colleague stayed in touch with this particular boy. He didn't join the classes back. They basically came to road. They lost their live food. He didn't want to appear in the need, but his father forced him to. He failed in the first attempt. He couldn't make it in the second attempt also. Seeing the financial conditions of his family, he went into dep depression. He didn't quit his need preparation. He kept going. On one side, he was fighting depression and on the other, he was preparing for need. He failed in the second attempt as well. Then my colleague told me that he lost the contact with him and lost track of him. He didn't know where he was what he was doing and some two years passed. He gets a call from a number and he takes it. He said to me that he will never forget that phone call ever in the life. He hears a guy cryingly taking his name and saying, sir, I finally made it. I cracked knee 2022. He couldn't recognize his wife. So, asked, so he asked who that was. And then he told him the entire time they talked over the phone, he was crying. My colleague was so emotional and touched at this point of time. He asked him to meet. He came after a couple of days and he asked him about his journey, where he was all these years. Why didn't he call? He said, sir, whenever shop was destroyed in fire, we had 
nothing left the world seemed to fade to gray i didn't know what to do at that point of time we had to sell our house to pay for the losses and we sh shifted to a, a rented place for the first two years i barely cared about my neat results as my family was struggling i had to work as a salesman to pay the rent and help my father with time my father was able to set up this small shop in the locality and after some stability i started preparing for neat seriously and i didn't join the classes again because i couldn't afford it i couldn't make it even in the third attempt but that didn't stop me sir i knew i was going to crack it and i did it sir in the end he was about to leave my colleague told me that he asked him this one question did you ever think of giving up all these years and then he said something that hit my colleague deep and hard and trust me guys when i heard it it did the same to me it wasn't easy every doubt every tear was a battle sir there were times when i was like why am i even wasting my time on this there were times when i questioned my decision to become a doctor there were times when i simply gave up during my need preparation but there was this one thing that brought me back always and that was the voice of my parents echoing in my ears who used to say our son will be the doctor one day i might have given up if it was only my dream but how i could have given up on the dream of my parents do you know guys what this story made me realize his story isn't just about studying hard or being smart in the exams or not losing hope it's a story about never giving up but more importantly it's about understanding that it's okay to feel like giving up sometimes what really matters is finding the strength to keep going even when the things seem impossible so my dear neat as aspirants remember this story remember it's okay to feel like giving up sometimes but what truly is important is finding the courage to keep going no matter what hold on to your dreams tightly because they have the power to carry you through even the hardest times as you keep working towards your neat exam let this story inspire you motivate you as it did to many believe in yourself stay focused and never lose the sight of the dreams that keep you going because in the end it's not about never giving up it's about finding the strength to keep moving forward no matter what difficulties you face